Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and welcome to Zelda Month. I've been uploading a video a day on either this channel or my other channel. At this point, I've done all 10 top 10s on my Music Kev Plays channel, and this is the second of two in-depth discussion series on the musical top 10s being title songs in Zelda games. My 8th favorite title theme came from Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks came immediately after Phantom Hourglass, both chronologically and in my list. Although, I guess 8th place is technically before, even though I mentioned it after. You know what? Forget it. Moving on. It took the plot-your-own-course style gameplay of the Phantom Hourglass as well, and railroaded it. Being straight with you, I tried to replay this game recently. It isn't one of the best. But, I'm not here to talk about gameplay, I'm here to talk about music and composition. As with many of the songs in the Zelda series, Koji Kondo is given credit on the composition, along with Toru Minigishi, Minaka Tominaga, and Asuka Ota. I'm not good at pronouncing names. Again, that classic opening interval was found, and then ramped up through repetition before breaking into the main theme. In the rhythm line for the A section, that same 3-3-2 accent is found, and the B section is more calm, but the bells keep a similar rhythmic pattern subtly throughout. The song ends by going into a ugh, loop, but it earned its place before getting there, and the loop itself just gives you the feeling of on the rails, so I'll let it slide this time. I mentioned before the instrumentation of the pan flute, but that's both unique and appropriate to the gameplay. Guys, I'm just realizing this is difficult. It's one thing to talk about the structure of a 4-10 to 10 minute song, but it's another thing entirely when the song is barely even a minute long. <sighs> Let's do some quick musical vocabulary that relates to this song. Ostinato comes to mind. An ostinato refers to a repeated musical phrase or rhythm, and a lot of these songs feature one. They are easy to compose, but they also give the feeling of moving forward. I like them. I enjoy how much they can match with different parts of the songs in different ways. Supposedly, ostinato comes from the Italian word for obstinate, which I find a little bit amusing. It stubbornly sticks to itself as any other melody that's playing changes, and it refuses itself to change. I think what I like about this is how it manages to be peaceful and adventurous. It's the perfect kind of traveling music to suit the game while still making me want to go for a drive. Speaking of going for a drive, I hope you all have been safe through your holiday travels. For the question of the day, which I'm just now deciding to do, how far are you traveling for your holiday this year? And there is absolutely no shame in saying zero miles. That's my favorite distance to travel. Ah, oh, dang it. Now I really want to ride on a train. Bonus question, have you ever traveled by train? That's definitely going on the bucket list. This was a short one, but be sure to like this video as well, since I like validation. And make sure you subscribe so I can see you all tomorrow as I continue the in-depth look at the top 10 title themes in Zelda games. If you missed the list that I'm basing this on, or any other, the link to that playlist is right here. I'll see you tomorrow.